what is going on? There has been a major development in the Philip Schofield case. He's admitted to everything, having the affair with a teenage colleague. He's been dropped by his management. He's quit all his ITV shows. It's all going down. Like and subscribe to the channel. The internet's talking about it and so are we. <laughs> what? Let's do this. I can't believe this is happening. Philip Schofield has opened up about everything. He's admitted to cheating on his wife with a young male colleague who he first met when he was a teenager and then lying to cover up the affair for all of these years. He's quit all of his shows, uh, including the new primetime show that he was getting promised by ITV bosses. He's also backed out of the British Soap Awards that are soon to air. In a surprising turn of events, Phil has made an official statement to the Daily Mail. He said, I'm making this statement via the Daily Mail to whom I have already apologised personally for misleading through my lawyer who I also misled about a story which they wanted to write about me a few days ago. Then he goes on to say, the first thing I want to say is I am deeply sorry for having lied to them and to many others about a relationship that I had with someone working on this morning. I did have a consensual on-off relationship with a younger male colleague at this morning. This is the interesting bit. He says, contrary to speculation, whilst I met the man when he was a teenager and was asked to help him to get into television, it was only after he started to work on the show that it became more than just a friendship. That relationship was unwise, but not illegal. It is now over. I am painfully conscious that I have lied to my employers at ICV. Damn right you have to my colleagues and friends, to my agents, to the media, and therefore the public. And most importantly of all, to my family. I'm so very, very sorry as I am for having been unfaithful to my wife. I'm resigning from ITV with immediate effect, expressing my immense gratitude to them for all the amazing opportunities that they have given to me. This goes on quite a bit. He says, I will reflect on my very bad judgment in both participating in the relationship and then lying about it. What, do you know what? I could have, I, I would have paid good money to say that he would never admit to half of these things. I can't believe that he's openly made a full on statement. He's been dropped by his management. Um, here we have a story. So it basically says Philip Schofield has been dropped by his management YMU with immediate effects. So they made a statement saying this week we have learned important info new information about our client Philip Schofield. These facts contradicted what Philip had previously told YMU as well as the external advisors we had brought in to support him. As a result, on Thursday, we agreed to part company with Philip with immediate effects. Oh my God. There's so many online reactions. The likes of Eamon Holmes, one of um, this morning's former presenters. Eamon's been very public, very vocal about Philip um, and just his behaviour and how he should have been sacked a long time ago. Eamon's uh, posted on Twitter, he said, Schofield has finally been caught, but he's not the only guilty party. Four high members of ITV management knew what sort of man he was and never once took action to prevent him controlling or taking advantage of his position over young people. I suppose if there's one good thing that's come out of this, it's the fact that Philip has always gone on about being kind and kindness and all of that. And he's never displayed it in the sense of he's been covering this huge secret for so many years. If anything, he's, yes, he's guilty, but the fact that he's openly admitted it, he's just come clean and he's gone, you know what? Here's everything, here's the cards on the table. I sort of respect that. But it also makes you wonder if he's admitted to all of these things, is there something else that he's not admitted to? Is he afraid that obviously he did his coming out a few years back where people said, oh, he's only come clean about this uh, and done it on national TV because he was getting blackmailed uh, over something else and there was a darker story behind it. So is there an even more darker story that Philip's trying to run away from? It's just going to be a really interesting but awkward time uh, for ITV, the management. Most of all, Philip's family are again at the, at the front of all this, having to face all this. Holly Willoughby has gone away for two weeks for half term for her holidays. She's tried to detach herself away. Did she know that this was going to get leaked? This was going to come out and Philip was going to make a public statement? Probably not because it was only a few days ago that Holly was 
singing his praises and saying that he she's <laughs> that he's given her experience and knowledge and humor and all of these things and now it's all about backfired here because people are going to turn around to her and say well did you know about this so <laughs> everyone's played a part in this and it's crazy because they're all going to have to answer over 20 plus years of service for itv but not one person has stood up and defended philip schofield in the middle of all this it's because they all know what a nasty man he is let me know your thoughts in the comments like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one i'm sure there will be another next one because this story is far from over peace